It is sold under 500 different names and can have deadly effects. Spice or K2, the synthetic drug is made by spraying chemicals onto a plant-based material. It can often be bought at smoke shops and not long ago the drug was the focus of a massive drug trafficking investigation across town. Now your side's Whitney Clark reports on how Tucson leaders want to do more to stop the drug from getting onto our streets. Martin Marzalak gets a front row view of the drug use at Santa Rita Park, including Spice. It is a psychotic. Um, we had one guy, there's a dirt pile in the back. There's a pile of ash back there. He was butt naked on top of that pile of ash. Also known as Doc, Marzalak runs Veterans on Patrol, a camp near the park that helps homeless vets. When I first arrived, it was, it was really pretty bad. Um, you could walk through, you could always smell the odor, you know, in the air. The worst thing that I've seen out here since I've been in, in Tucson um, has been the spice problem because it's, it's simply available just about everywhere. Tucson City Councilor Steve Kozacic wants to change that. There are three parts to this. There's enforcement, there's public education, and there's treatment. This Wednesday, the council will discuss how to stop the sale of spice and other dangerous synthetic drugs. Kozacic says a big problem. There are a list of ingredients that are illegal, but producers often get around the laws by manipulating the drugs. It's like a dog chasing his tail. We're trying to catch up with the producers, and the reason that we need to do this locally is because we can do that more quickly than the state or the feds can do. Since the federal raids in July, Marzalak has seen a noticeable yeah, decrease in spice under. use at the park. It may now be harder to buy on this side of town, but he wants to see it all gone. It's a, it's a psychotic, um, and it needs, you know, the problem needs to be addressed. It really does. Well, after the council study session on Wednesday, Kazanchik says the city attorney will work on drafting some kind of ordinance. Some ideas would include giving the city the power to shut down shops if they're caught selling spice or if they possess the drug with the intention of selling it.